What's going on guys? Good morning. It's early in the morning here and it's sunny South Florida. Today we're doing some bass fishing. It's a little bit windy offshore so we decided to switch it up and catch some peacock bass, largemouth bass, striped bass. We'll see what goes on today but hopefully we can get on them. Yeah guys, so the plan is we're going to uh, do top waters around the sides of this lake here in this morning time and then do when the sun starts to come up a little bit higher then do uh, some deep divers in the middle and Darcy just got this lure stuck in the tree no <laughs> it was me it was way up there yeah it was way up there anyway all right so that's what yeah. we're doing we've got a couple bites so far but it's been a little slow slower than I thought maybe I change our lures what you have any hangover from the Sunday fun day no I'm good, <laughs> I'm good. you sure yeah what about yesterday no. <laughs> and just so you know what I'm using, I was using this spook all morning and I, I got some bites but no, I didn't catch any fish. So I'm changing that because it was in a tree and I can't fell out anyway. <laughs> and I'm changing to this Livingston lure, what is Walking Boss, regular, and this has those funny EBS sounds so it makes a little noise once you get it wet. So we'll see what happens. Darcy's using a, uh, this one in, in a peacock color. She hasn't got any bites yet either. Alright, we got our first fish of the day. It's a nice, decent peacock. Give me that net. Can you get the net? I'm gonna lose him. He's in there. He's pretty cooked, pretty good, but we don't want to lose him. Nice. All right, you can see he's right in that Livingston. Walking boss. Walking boss. We got a little side hook, but he's gonna be fine. <laughs> Let me get this hook out. All right, guys, here's that fish. And again, it was on that walking boss. The link is gonna be in the, the video, the link for the lure be in the description below if you wanna pick it up. And it's from Livingston. It's a great little fish. Don't go plates, let's catch some more. Morning again, Pat! Good morning. What I've been up? reading too many uh, Instagram reports. We're just going up here. Trolling Rapalas. <laughs> We're moving spots, really. We're just moving spots. I figure we troll Come over here. Pet. All right, we're going to fish with Captain Pat for like an hour before his charter gets here. Uh, or he's doing some pictures for actually he's doing some pictures for a fly fishing article. Big fly fisherman. So if you guys want to, you know, come down to South Florida and get a charter fly fishing uh, inshore for bass, or I mean, fresh water for bass and peacocks, of course, or, or a snook. He went snook fishing and caught him on the fly last night. He's your man. So we're gonna do a little fishing with him. All right, guys, what we're doing now is we're sight fishing for peacocks. I guess it's the spawning season starting, so they're in the beds. And so they're in shallow. And I'm keeping the camera like this. Captain Pat is very private about his spots. And you should, too, when you find some new spots. Don't go showing them all over Instagram like Darcy does. You got to lie. <laughs> you got to lie, kids. You got you to gotta ob obfuscate and yep. disorganize. Catch the fish. Look at that one on the right, Darcy. Go ahead, throw at him. We're using a little bait, this little gambler, little easy in the alewife color. And uh, we're just throwing this, pitching it and flipping it under the docks and kind of just trying to get the peacock bass to react to the lure and just bite it. Because right now they're kind of not eating at the spawning time. So the fish are going to be a little harder to catch. So we're just going to keep pitching under these docks when we see fish and hopefully we get one. Got a large mouth. Captain Cat caught the first fish since we've been on his boat. I haven't caught a fish yet. A little large mount. Keychain mount. <laughs> Might have to well, put Captain Pat, why don't you show us how you rig that mustad hook on that little uh, <laughs> So there. here we have a little mustad size uh, small. I don't know what size it is. Probably a 3 0. And a gambler. Uh, this is the little swimmer, easy yeah, swimmer. Should we start easy. this over? A little easy. Alewife. Alewife. So, we're gonna take the bait, put it right through the nose, about that far. Pull the hook through to there. Line it up, and that's it. She's rigged. 
Weedless and ready. Nice. Any smaller fish right here? but nice little probably close to two pound fish and uh, kind of got a couple hits and just was reeling up my bait faster and faster and then these, this fish just exploded on it. Pretty awesome and we're just fishing the docks like I said. Awesome. Let's go ladies. Go daddy some fish. Get him, Sizzle. There you go. You got him. Female. I think it's a little female. She's, oh, and she's fit. Oh well, still hooked the fish. Totally <laughs> crushed the gambler a little easy. It's gone. But hooked him back on the bed. Ain't that in the water right there? I freaking had this between my legs. That was hilarious. <laughs> I was just like actually just like fixing my hair and put my pole between my legs and when I did that my bait was hanging in the water. Largemouth came up and slammed it. Hilarious. Little large mouth, I'll take it. I'm trying to get a big peacock. Little fishy. <laughs> that came up and ate my gambler on the surface. Bye. Thanks, Captain Pat. backyard hog. I just figured, you know what, it was time to step up my game a little bit and try to catch a solid fish. And it just landed a solid fish. You can see right there, nice hook set. That hook is not coming out, but it's a Mustad 5 aught worm hook. And uh, you can see I have a Gambler Lures, it's kind of hanging right here, but it's a Gambler Lures, uh, little, <laughs> Gambler Lures Easy Swimmer, and that's the Ghost Shad color. So if you guys are interested, I have caught saltwater fish on it and freshwater fish. Let me get this hook out of this guy. Just landed him. Even through all this weeds and stuff, I was managed to get him out. I don't know how I did, but I did. And uh, even though he gets a bunch of weed on him, I still landed him. So awesome. This is probably a solid three, four pound fish. There's my bait. So yeah, if you guys are interested in those Gambler soft plastics, check them out. I'm going to have a link down in the description below. I've caught saltwater and freshwater fish on it. Nice pig. All right, pretty happy about this fish. Finally uh, had a successful day now, I call it, after catching one fish, but that's all right. I'll take this slob largemouth. Let me, uh, so much weed, there's a little bit of, of a thing right here that he can get down. I'm sure he can, but I'm just gonna drop him. Nice. 
All right, end of the day, right here in my backyard, once again, catching a slob fish. We shouldn't have even went fishing, but whatever. Could have caught them right here. But thank you guys once again so much for watching. If you're interested in Captain Pat as well, I'll have his information down in the description below. He does freshwater charters and saltwater charters, and he is your man, even fly fishing. So if you're interested in going out and catching some fish, he's the man to do it with. But thank you for watching. Until our next video, follow your dream and keep on catching.